Okay, so INTP versus INTJ, the scientist versus the architect, the hacker versus the ruler. So, okay, how do we talk about and distinguish between an INTJ and INTP? What are some accurate ways to know whether you're an INTJ judging type or an INTP perceiving type? First, I would say look at the cognitive functions. Now, here I have in a table nice and neatly organized NI, NE, TI, and TE in INTJs and INTPs. So if you're an INTP and says, oh, actually I do have a lot of NI, so maybe I'm an INTJ. Or if you're an INTJ that says, well, I do have a lot of TI, so I could be an INTP. Well, then this video is for you. What I've found is INTPs relate to about 60% to having NI. So most INTPs will say, yeah, I have some NI. I can and I, I can engage in philosophy and theory and I can enjoy it and I find it fascinating. And some INTJs are gonna say, I enjoy critical thinking. I enjoy confirming a hypothesis, knowing for sure what is the right answer, knowing which option is the correct one out of different options. So a lot of INTJs have TI. So how do you distinguish between them? Well. If you're an INTJ, your primary struggle in life is slot or a lack of energy to realize your visions or ideas. If you're an INTP, what you struggle with is a crippling perfectionism or an idea that if it's not perfect, and if you don't know with 100% accuracy, there is no point to doing anything. So when you're an INTP, indecisiveness, when you're an INTJ, a lack of energy and power to accomplish what you dream of. So INTJs, they're constantly feeling burdened by the fact that they are not able to realize their vision, that they are not strong enough, not smart enough, not fast enough, not energetic or passionate enough, to make their dreams come true. So a lot of INTJs, they get stuck in this dreamlike state of speculating or theorizing or reflecting or understanding or analyzing or processing a theory or an idea and never doing anything with it. And a lot of INTPs, they get stuck in this kind of indecisive, is it that or is it that? Would I want to do this or that? Should I become that career or should I go into that career? Should I date that person or should I date that person? And now that I have this job advice or job, this job proposal in front of me, what are my reasons for accepting it and what are my reasons for disagreeing with it? How do I know if this is what I want or if there is something else that I might want more? So when looking at this, what I would do is I would put your NI scores against your TI scores. So that's one way to start, NI versus TI. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna compare them. Is my NI higher than my TI? That's a good starting point. Another thing you can do is you can put, if you're an INTJ, and you wanna ensure that you're not an INTP, look at your NE scores. Because what's interesting about INTPs is they say, I can both NI and NE. So I'm both good at researching different ideas and viewpoints and perspectives and testing out and experimenting with different ideas and theories. And I am very good at processing and reflecting and formulating a theory or a hypothesis about something. But an INTJ is an NI specialist. So an INTJ says, I'm good at coming up with a hypothesis, but I'm not good at getting the data or the numbers or the theories or the possibilities to test and experiment on this theory or hypothesis. So INTJs tend to sit with untested theories that they have never experimented on or run or discussed with the group or tested in the world around them. They have thought about it for a really long time, but they've never made a step to test it and see if it actually works. So. INTJs, untested theories, INTPs, small scale experiments about loose or crazy or wacky theories or hypotheses. And 
so I should say small scale because that's what it is. It's small scale. So INTPs don't tend to be big gun theorists compared to INTJs. INTJs tend to be big gun theorists. And most of all, INTJs are visionaries. INTPs are hackers. So INTJs are all about coming up with and focusing on one big idea or diving into deep digging into one big theory or possibility and then spending all that time digging that up and working to make that happen and thinking about it and obsessing about it where INTPs are more interested in theories from an experimental point of view what if it could be like this or like that the INTP tests and goes over theories and hypotheses and experiments with them what if I change this or that about this theory what happens then so INTPs like to analyze their theories critically. Now, let's look at TI and TE. So here you have a big difference. INTPs, they are big gun scientists, critical thinkers, 70% TI, 45% TE. So here's a big uh, fun one. How do you distinguish between an INTJ or an INTP? First, an INTJ is going to be comfortable guessing or testing or just doing something in the situation or in the moment if it's the practical thing to do and if it seems to work and if it looks like it will get the right result. INTPs want to make sure that it really works and that it's really been tested before it's done. So INTPs, they don't like to do something that has not been tested. They want to make sure they run the numbers, run the data, and that it actually is working. So INTPs, they tend to sit on and want to make sure things are working perfectly before anything is done. And they prioritize accuracy over effectiveness. INTJs, they are kind of uh, accuracy, effectiveness, uh, uh, jack of all trades. So INTJs, they are and value effectiveness, but also like to sit and take the time to make sure things are working. So INTJs, they're kind of like the, the system managers, the system analysts, because they run through the system, they let the system do its job, and they at the same time, they fine tune where they can, and they say, okay, here I can do some small improvements, and here I can fix this a bit, and this thing could be done a bit better, but they're still okay with the overall process. As long as it's generating results, that's okay to the INTJ. And the results, the results are very important to the INTJ. The results are less important to an INTP. So as an INTP, something can work perfectly, but never be taken into action because what's, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is it works. And then if it's ever done or utilized in any practical capacity, it would be nice, but that's always a secondary priority. So. Yeah, that's a big tell for INTP. Now, finally, I would look at introverted perceiving versus introverted judging. And what is the IP dilemma? The IP dilemma, the introverted perceiving dilemma is people, the tribe, the group doesn't care about me. The tribe doesn't listen to me. The tribe doesn't get me. So as an INTP, the main struggle is nobody gets me. I know the right answer. I have the right values or the right identity, but people don't get me. People don't understand my value. People don't understand my significance. If you're an INTJ, the struggle is a lot more difficult because for an INTJ, the main struggle is getting out of the house. As an INTJ, getting out of the house is the main issue actually getting to work or getting things done um, dealing with chaos and dealing with unpredictable situations and dealing with the lack of control and losing control and fear of losing control and fear of uh, uh, being thrown into chaos and not getting what's happening or fear of overwhelm so as an intj it's a lot more a fear of life where uh, for an INTP, it's fear of people. So INTJs are a bit afraid of living life and enjoying life to the fullest because they are very serious in their temperament. INTJs have a very serious temperament. So INTJs tend to be very serious, very focused, very self-disciplined, very focused on rules and what rules they want to live by, their principles, 
and standards for how they think one should act and what one should do. And so because of all these rules, they tend to be quite tied down. INTJs, they're kind of like the turtles of the MBTI and INFJs should relate to that because they carry the entire world of responsibilities on their back and they feel they, response, they are responsible for everything that's happening around them. INTPs feel about a lot more like specialists in a sense that they focus on and they are and feel responsible mainly for themselves and their own success and their own life. So for an INTP, the main important thing is I do things correctly. I am smart. I am intelligent. I can perform my tasks to the utmost perfection. I can do things better than anyone else. And so I should have value to the tribe. But often I feel I don't and people don't see me and people don't listen to me or people don't take me seriously. So that's INTP versus INTJ. And if you're an INTP or an INTJ, let me know in the comments down below and let me know which type you relate to the best. Thanks so much for tuning in and I hope to see you all in the next video.